This charcoal drawing is made up of only two things, values and edges. If you have a solid understanding of values and edges, you can create incredible realistic art. My name is Daniel Falta with Evolve Artists and we show people the paths making realistic paintings. So in this video, we will be talking about the second fundamental, which is edges. Without edges, you're stuck with making flat art but with edges, you can create the illusion of form and depth. So I'm gonna show you what edges are, how to create form using edges, and then how to create depth using edges. Let's get into it. Before I define edges, we need to know what values are. Values are how light or how dark something is, and an edge is how softly or sharply one value transitions to another. So in this image, we have all of our values, right? But how come it still looks flat? Without edges, you won't have a clear explanation of the three-dimensional form of the object that you're looking at. But with edges, that illusion of form and depth becomes lifelike. So how do you create form using edges? Well, before thinking about your edges, you first need to get your values right based on light and shadow. So if you haven't already, stop and watch this video and then come back here to continue. Okay, now in the same way that values have an infinite range between light and dark, Edges have an infinite range between razor sharpness and butter smooth gradients. But for the purpose of learning, you only need two edges, sharp and soft. Remember, in pursuit of mastery, we want to simplify, not overcomplicate. So when it's this simple, when there's just two edges, you simply can't copy what you see. You have to turn form based on your understanding. Do you wanna make painted copies of photographs all your life? No, of course not. You wanna make art. And to do that, you need a true understanding, not a crutch of paint what you see that prevents you from unfurling your wings into the majesty of create. <sighs> okay. If you want a true understanding of art, learn the rules like a pro so that you can break them like an artist and we made the Evolve program for you. Anyways, so how do we determine which edges should be sharp and which should be soft? So you've got some edges that are created by the value of one object bumping up against another object, and you also have other edges that are created by the light and shadow meeting each other. So we're gonna turn form in the edges where light meets the shadow. As you are learning, make all your form shadows soft and all your cast shadows sharp. What happens if we reverse this? Ooh, yikes. But who would make a mistake like this? I mean, come on, it's a sphere, right? Well, let's complicate it. Look at this portrait. Look at how many form and cast shadows there are going on in this face. It's very important to be able to tell the difference between a form and cast shadow. So what are cast and form shadows? Well. Without going into crazy detail, a form shadow is basically when there's light hitting something and then there's less and less of it as it's dropping away, as it's fading into shadow. And then a cast shadow is when there's something that's directly blocking the light from shining on it. So that would be this cast shadow right in here that's being created by this guy here. Another way to think about form shadow is imagine that there's 100% of the light source shining on the left side of the sphere. And then as the sphere is turning in form away from the light, there's a smaller and smaller percentage of light that can bounce off of it. Whereas with a cast shadow, you go from 0% of the light to 100% of the light. So your cast shadows will be relatively sharp because the light can't bend around the thing that's directly in the way, whereas your form shadows will be soft because the light is just dropping off into shadow. So this is how you create form using edges. After you block in your values, for your edges that are created by light meeting shadow, determine whether or not each edge is a cast or form shadow, and then make the edge sharp or soft accordingly. Now let's talk about creating depth using edges. So this is Simo, and this is the studio dog of Piper Talladay. Uh, Piper, if you don't know her, she's the head instructor at Evolve and she paints horses. Uh, but I saw this image and I thought it was perfect. Look at Simo's snout. It's super sharp. You can see all the detail and then all of the edges get softer and softer as they recede into the distance. So when we're looking around and our eyes focus on something, 
it becomes clear to see, right? It becomes sharp, it's in focus. So when we're making realistic art, the things that are sharp and in focus is what our eyes are going to naturally gravitate towards. And having a sharp edge is gonna create this effect as if it's coming forward because it's grabbing our attention. So if you put your hand up and focus on it, then peripherally you should be able to see that the things directly behind it are blurry, they're out of focus. Even if I put my hand just right here, it's out of focus because I'm focusing so much on the hand that's in front of me. So we can glean something from this that sharp edges pull forward and soft edges push back. So if you want to pull something forward using edges, then you can make it relatively sharp. And if you want to push something further back, then you can make it relatively soft. So for this table, I'll leave the front edge sharp because it's in front, and then I'll make the back edge soft. Now you can talk about depth of field, like I imagine if I put my hand up here, my hand will get blurry. If you focus your eyes on something beyond your hand, that's gonna be in focus, and then your hand's gonna be blurry. And to that I would say yes, but it's not gonna reinforce the illusion of depth. So keep it simple, especially as you're learning. You wanna make sure that you can juggle two balls before you pick up three, right? And you also wanna make sure that you're juggling the right balls. If you concern yourself with all this superfluous information that you're not ready for, then you're gonna find yourself juggling dead leaves rather than juggling these fundamentals that carry real weight to them. There's so much information and clutter that gets in the way of being able to tell what's important and what's not important in the art making process. And this is our mission with Evolve, right? Is to cut straight through the clutter and provide a clear, simple path to making awesome art. So there's your crash course in edges, the second fundamental in the Evolve Artist method. And if you wanna see more of these videos, please subscribe so that we can grow our channel and you can get notified the next time we post a video. Also, if you wanna refer back to this video, then you can hit the like button so that you can find it again more easily. And if you are serious about improving in your art, whether that's a hobby or a career, then you can check out our masterclass, which is free in the description below. And I wish you all happy, happy painting.